First up, the one that started it all, the Les Paul. Inception 1952. I'm holding a 50 standard model here, okay? This is the one that, that you basically think of when you think of Gibson guitars. You've got a mahogany body, warm lows, resonance, really nice tone wood for that. That maple top there is gonna help you with that attack on the notes, on the high end especially. Uh, you're always gonna look for that flame there, which is another signature uh, look for us. You got a pair of burst bucker pickups here for the humbuckers, a three-way toggle. Again, uh, the, the two tones and the two volumes. Two pneumatic bridge that you can fine tune there for adjustments. You got the tailpiece here, nice uh, rosewood fingerboard. 50 style neck, so it's a little bit chunkier, but if uh, if you do feel it, it's still very comfy, especially with that binding on there. And you've got vintage deluxe tuners with the keystone buttons. Really nice guitar. This is the poster child of a Les Paul right here. And I'll go ahead and show you the next guitar, which will be the 60s, which will have a few differences as well. If you want full on specs, you can always visit the website or check out our Les Paul buyer's guide on the channel. Let's keep going. <laughs> Pretty much the same right but there's two things that you got to think about here you're gonna have a different neck profile is the is the first important thing so it's a slimmer neck if you are a fan of smaller neck profiles this is the one for you but you still get a pair of humbuckers these are 60s voice now 60s burst buckers the knobs are gonna look a little bit different you've got uh, reflectors here the silver reflectors on these knobs and then the tuners are gonna be uh, the Grover Rotomatic tuners really nice tuners there super accurate as well this is cool, this is the blueberry burst finish. We've got a whole new line of custom colors that have come out. So if you don't want the traditional looks, you can definitely dive into that collection and uh, find some new colors that uh, speak to you in a different way. Now, as far as players go, anyone can really play one of these. I mean, rock, you know, blues, country, uh, everything, R&B, soul, jazz, whatever it is, you can always benefit from a humbucker guitar because like I said earlier, your distorted tones and your high gain tones are taken care of and you benefit for the clean sounds as well. Now, there's a few models that we have that I don't have with me today, but you can definitely check out our Les Paul Buyer's Guide for more information on them, like the Les Paul Studio. Les Paul Studio is a basic Les Paul without all the fancy features visually. It's uh, without the binding or the top and any of that for the studio. So it's just really bare bones and a straight ahead guitar to get the job done. And it's a little bit cheaper on the price point. There's also Les Paul Modern. You've got advanced electronics there for coil splitting so you can get some single coil sounds and humbucker sounds from one guitar. And you've got a way slimmer neck design, hotter pickups and locking tuners on those instruments. And then behind me over here, as you can see, is the Les Paul Modern Light. So if you're a new player, you don't need all the bells and whistles. You just want it super stripped down. It's also slightly slimmer and lighter. Actually, it's a lot slimmer than a regular Les Paul and lighter. That might be something for you if you're just trying to dabble and you know get something uh, a little bit uh, easier and just more straight ahead, especially for younger players out there. 